You know, the all out or all in is a good question for the Raiders. Perhaps they should have asked that before they traded for him. And while Brown stays off the field, it means more reps for a teammate, Keeneland Doss, whose helmet fits just fine. Here again is Vern Glenn. It was a late touchdown in a somewhat meaningless preseason game. But don't tell that to Keelan Doss and the hundreds of friends and family who were at the Coliseum that night. It was a cool moment. I looked at them for a second. They was all cheering, so it was a cool little moment. Oh, yeah, he's from Alameda, baby. Doss grew up about 10 minutes from the Raider headquarters in Alameda and fell in love with the silver and black. Because of Charles Woodson, he got to watch only a few games at the Coliseum but they were memorable. One I remember was when they played the Titan on a wide. I just remember sitting in like the, the front row and they put me on the jumbo trying like four seconds. So that was pretty cool. The touchdown against the Rams was a short three yard snag, about 15 years removed from his first on that same field. When I was at Pop Warner, we played there at a halftime uh, during the preseason game actually. And uh, that was like the only time I was able to play there. Did you score? I did actually score, yeah, it was a cool moment. You, did you, did, <laughs> is it the same kind of feeling that you had uh, the other night? Pretty much, man. The crowd was going nuts, and I thought I was on the Raiders when I scored, so <laughs> it was pretty cool. All of this was hard to imagine when Dawes was a freshman at Alameda High School. You know, he was very uh, under-recruited in high school. He was 6'3", uh, like 185 in high school. Yeah, come on, come on, try it, Trey. Come on, Trey. Brandon Younger, now an assistant at Foothill Junior College, Coach Doss at Alameda. Who are you playing for the Raiders right now? Keelan Doss. Oh. He's trying to make the team. So so he's from the Bay and he's playing for the Bay? Yeah. Was there any play that maybe sticks out at Alameda where you go, man, that was that was the best of Keelan Dodge? Right? Well, I think there was a play. Our quarterback just threw it up and Keelan just like went over him and snatched it from the kid, kind of flexed on him a little bit, which was a surprise to me because he's not like a a big time like celebrator, but he kind of like flexed up a little bit. And he flexed up quite a bit more in college, setting records of I-80 in Davis. Doss set records at UC Davis for receptions, receiving yards and touchdowns. And most experts thought he could draft it in the fourth round. But Doss never heard his name called. But Doss' phone blew up after the NFL draft. 20 coaches called him, among them, John Gruden, hoping he would sign. And then he said, um, you know, you're from Alameda, I can't let you go. You know, the black hole will get on me. <laughs> I, I heard about you. Hey, you doing great, man, keep it going. It's funny, a lot of people don't think they understand the difference in being drafted and then just signing right after the draft. <laughs> you know, a lot of people hit me like, hey, congrats on being drafted or whatnot, and I was like, yeah, well. The disappointment of the draft went away after Gruden's press conference the other night. And he's playing himself into a uh, position here to maybe make the team. A dream rapidly becoming reality after each catch in the preseason. I think it's a very prestigious group to be in when you got guys that you've coached that make it to the next level. Um, I'm definitely excited, you know, for other guys that come through our program here at Foothill, for guys that I work with and I train. I'm excited to see those guys continue to build and hopefully they can follow in the footsteps of Keelan. Doss gets to take his game internationally this week. The Raiders play the Packers in Winnipeg on Thursday.